Hi everyone, my name is Samaya Ahmed and I am the Virtual Content Specialist for 7th grade science. This video will review how to use GIST statements to support reading comprehension. The word GIST is an acronym for Generating Interaction Between Schemata and Text. To use this strategy, we divide a large text into sections. After each section, we discuss the main idea, any relevant vocabulary terms, and come up with one single sentence, preferably under 20 to 25 words, to best summarize that section. These steps are repeated for all sections for the entire text. GIST statements are great for dense reading assignments because they are guided and students take a more active role in the reading process. They help students focus on the important concepts, synthesize information from large sections of texts, and retain and recall information more easily, since GIST statements are more condensed. According to an article on the cult of pedagogy, the author highlights how if revision and discussion of a text happens during a deliberate pause, students tend to remember the information better than if it happens after reading the whole text. So these are just some benefits of using GIST statements while reading texts in science class. From my personal experience, I have seen the effectiveness of GIST statements in my class compared to other text annotation strategies. Again, it depends on the class and what the students and you, the teacher, feel more comfortable with. For instance, in this annotation strategy, students have the independence to highlight, underline, or circle key information or words. This is great for students who are more independent and complete the task on their own without guided supports. GIST statements um, serve as a more guided strategy and promote collaboration and discussion after each section of the text. So when I use GIST statements after each paragraph, students create their GIST statement, they work in pairs, and they have a final product which they can share with the class. So they would share their GIST statement and I would have several students share out their statements and sometimes we vote for the best one or we, or we vote for a few good ones uh, just to model how just statements should be and how to summarize a paragraph in a condensed way. So this is one example of a just template you can use which is more guided and it's great for introducing the strategy. So we have the article title here, the source here, and here are the steps to creating their just statement. So step one is to read paragraph one. Uh, step two is to fill out the five W's and H based on the paragraph so they can click on these boxes and in, in, input their information. Again, you can use this as a handout for in-person or a document that you would provide for them uh, for virtually for remote learning where they could just input in these text boxes. So here they have to answer the five W's and H based on the paragraph that they read for step two. So it's who, what, where, when, why, and how based on what they read. And the last step for step three they will have to write their final GIST statement based on the information from step two, but it has to be 20 words or less. Again, you can modify this to 25 words or less or 30 words or less, depending on the length of the paragraph. They may, may want to include more information. And this is where they would write their final GIST statement. And after you give students some time to work with their partners, develop a GIST statement, you can have students share out their GIST statements pick some good ones to share out, pick some ones that, are need, that need a little bit more work, just to model for students how just statements should be. Again, this is a more guided template, and this is great to introduce just statements. Once students understand the strategy and the purpose of creating just statements, you can create a simple table um, with sections for each paragraph or a graphic organizer 
with sections for each paragraph and their just statement besides having this whole section for just one paragraph. So this is just one example of a template that you can use while introducing just statements for your students. So now I will show you an example I did with my students in our seventh grade science class. This was for a lesson in the microbiology unit and we read a case study on a MRSA outbreak. After reading each paragraph, we paused, discussed any new or relevant vocabulary. For example, in this first paragraph, we had the word proximity, which I knew students would have struggle understanding. Um, so I used Google Images to define um, certain words, such as proximity or elect elective procedures, just to give them a more, uh, more of a visual support to understand each paragraph before moving on to the next paragraph, because as you move on the reading, the concepts do build upon each other. So once they understand the concepts through each paragraph and they have visual supports and we pause, and have a discussion, they are better prepared to understand the next paragraph. So after the discussion for each paragraph, I asked students to work with their partner to create a gist statement, reminding them that they have to summarize the main parts of the whole paragraph in one single sentence, and it has to be under 25 to 30 words. So after giving them some time to think and synthesize their ideas, students share out their gist statements and we all kind of vote on some strong gist statements to share out as a class. We repeat the strategy for all the paragraphs and this is a completed student sample with gist statements for all the paragraphs based on the case study shown in the previous slide. So again as you can see they I numbered the paragraphs here and they write their gist statement here. So what's great about this is now students have a summary of the whole case study which they can refer to for future tasks or projects and they don't have to go back and read the case study word for word but they can look at this summary and get the main idea of what they need for their task. So to summarize, just statements can help students understand and synthesize information while reading dense texts. Most importantly, this strategy gives students uh, a choice in choosing the pertinent information needed to summarize each section of a text. And it helps students condense their responses and understand a text. Thank you for watching.